night watch with them back cows. We the night watch with them back cows. If there's any trouble, we'll back down. We the night watch with them back cows. Yo, what's going on, my heroes, my villains, my fellow cow collectors, and everybody else on YouTube? It's your bromie, the Gale. Back at it again with another Bat Cow Boating video. Ooh, welcome back, heroes. So, it's that time yet again to make another DC Bat Cow comic book vote. Uh, this is vote number three, and uh, I think it's only been like two days since the last vote. So, this comic voting is ramping up. We are getting these uh, emails one to two times per week, as they told us in the uh, um, initial um, you know, utility email. So this time we're gonna be voting on Batman's costume. Which of the three original costume designs will be featured in the first issue of the comic book series? So, uh, let me copy my secret code. Copy, and let's go over here and vote real quick. I see, I've seen them on Twitter. I've seen, I seen a few of the pictures on Twitter, but um, it takes 15 seconds. Okay, let's do it. Blotty, blotty, blotty. Let's post that code real quick. This should be a quick video. Uh, continue. Define Batman's signature look for the upcoming DC Bad Cow comic book. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, design A. Uh, these original designs were created by Pablo Collar. Um, select one of the following looks to define Batman's style as he stands for justice in our storyline. So... This is the first one. This is the second one. The third one. And the fourth one. So let's see them all together. Design A, design B, design C, design D. Okay, so off the bat, I'm already liking the designs where the Batman logo on his chest is colored in black. Uh, I, I like for that to be uh, accentuated. So, automatically, I'm already going with either B or D um, out of my options. So, it looks like Design B has the original uh, Batman kind of like, what do you call that? Um, underwear over the tights, the black underwear. So, that's okay. And then this one, the option D has like kind of like, like reinforced, reinforced boots or something like that. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking D, I'm thinking D like the, the, the old school underwear is kind of cool, but it's like, I don't see a reason for it anymore. It's kind of like, you know, Batman kind of evolved. Um, I think he's evolved from that. It's cool, but I don't think it serves a purpose really. So, uh, I do believe I'm going to go with option D right here. Oh, cool. My bad. I should have been zooming in my bad. But yeah, I'm looking at the utility belt too. The utility belt has some big pockets. So you know Batman's ready for whatever. Um, like if you look at these other utility belts, that one's kind of big. You know, it looks like almost like a fashion statement type deal. Um, this one's a decent size. And then this one's big as well. So definitely, definitely not really liking design A or design C. So yeah. And I think the only thing about this is the is the uh, underwear over the pants. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with option D. I think that was a pretty easy choice for me. So let me click it and submit it. And that's that. Um, it's easy peasy. Nothing too much more to say about it. I think I went through my thought process on that one. Uh, let me know which ones you let me know which one you voted for in the comments if you have a bad cow. And uh, yeah, with that, let's move on. Also, real quick, Palm NFT Studio now has cash out. So uh, we can now transfer credits from the marketplace to our bank account. There is a flat fee of $25 per cash out, which will be deducted from our credit balance by their payments processor. So check your email for more information, but we can now officially cash out um, on Palm on the Palm website. Or, you know, we can cash out from the bad cows or the fandoms or whatever else uh, Palm has to offer. So that's huge. You know, um, yeah, good news all around. And with that, let's move on. And that's the video, my friends. 
If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you learned something or enjoyed the content, feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more back out content like this, this, this. So yeah, man, vote number three is in the books for me at least. And uh, I'm sure we have plenty more to come and uh, exciting times voting on DC's first ever NFT comic book. And um, I wanted to recommend a awesome movie that I watched last night. It's called Everything Everywhere All at Once. I can almost guarantee that you will enjoy this movie. Um, if you have a certain level of thinking, I think this movie is going to hit you in more ways than more ways than one. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. I just wanted to go on record by recommending this awesome movie. It's my favorite movie ever uh, as of yesterday. So go check that out. And with that being said, I am not a financial advisor nor a movie critic. Nothing I say is financial advice because I am learning just like you guys. I am just your friendly neighborhood genius. Ahaha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Sharing his thoughts and opinions on this awesome NFT platform known as Palm and this project known as The Bad Cows. So take everything that you hear from me with a grain of salt because things could change, change, change. And with that, thank you again for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and how to strong. And remember that not all heroes wear capes. Later.